Hi, today we are going to learn something about the first columns. My name is TV Tag. I write on the SQL Server trainings and dbtag.com. Let's look at a closer look. How the what is the first columns? What are the first column? A first column provide a highly effective way of managing empty space in a database by enabling null data to consume no physical space. These columns are really great to optimize the storage structure inside your table. If you have a table or a column which might contain more than 60% of the null value, you should go with the sparse columns that will help you to reduce the space consumption. But please keep in mind, the sparse columns require more storage for their non null values. So please ensure the column which contains more null values you should enable only on those columns. It has another feature by the name of column sets. Table that contains sparse columns can define a column set to return data in a, all the sparse columns in a table. Similarly to a computed column, it is not physically stored in the table. Uh, we will see how exactly it is how it works in a, in a demo session. Uh, please be ensured we cannot have a certain data types which cannot be used for the sparse columns. For example, the special data type like geography, geometry, images, and text, text, and a timestamp data types. We can create our sparse columns at the time of creating a table or we can use the alter table statement to create sparse columns. This is how we create our sparse columns. We have a create table table name, column name, the old, the way we declare the tables, but only ways we need to specify the sparse keyword prior to that. For example, the sparse, this will create our sparse columns. For example, if you want to create a column set, we need to add a column set also in the last column. Let, let's see a small demo, how much space can be saved using as per columns. Let me go to uh, SQL Server Management Studio. I am going to create an example where we will use two tables of the similar structure. The one table will not have the sparse columns, for example, the table one, which is the unsparse a table 2 which is a first column which has a first columns also. Uh, let's create another first table first of all. The table is got created. Let's create a second table which is using a first columns. Let me insert uh, one, uh, 1 million records in, in both the tables so that we should be able to see the performance. Yes, both the tables have now one values now. Uh, let me see how, for example, let me write a small query. Select count. Now we have uh, 0.1 million records in both on both the tables. Let's see how much space we have. Uh, looking at this, it clearly says uh, on the unsparse tables we have a certain uh, data which is uh, 3640 KB, but that column which is first, is we are able to save some column which is uh, somewhere around 33% uh, th of what we have already saved. This is how uh, we, we save a space by using a sparse columns. Let's uh, take an another example where we will use a sparse column with the columns at how it internally manages. Let me create a table which will be a sparse test which has uh, a lot of columns and only three columns are not null we are, which are not sparse and rest all are containing uh, uh, might be as null values. So let me go ahead and create this function. So this has got created. I got some errors. Let me check. Oh, sparse test is already created. Control. Let me go and use a temp db now I successfully created now let me create a index on one of the first columns uh, which is a combined index I'm going to insert three values in that uh, where I have uh, in some columns I have the null also and some of the values I have inserting as a as a value also Yes, the values got inserted. Let let me give you a thing how it looks like. Now I've created while defining a table, I've created a 
address set I've defined an address set which is the XML column set for all sparse columns. So that contains a definition of each and everything. So if I'm going to click over here, this will show me the address line, city, state, country. So which are all the column definitions which I created during the table creation. So that doesn't mean we cannot access the table data. Yes, we can access the table data. How? We need to specify the column names in the column criteria to go those column names. See, now we have the address line 2 as a blank for some of the columns. So this is how we use our column set with Aspers columns. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. If you, if you still have a lot more questions and want to know more, visit our SQL server-training.com or our last name which is our tag.com. Thank you very much.